Gavin, you've been fascinated with infrastructure and uh, I see this recent work is um, in a rural situation with your fascination with uh, structures again. Is this a new trend for you and, and what's behind uh, uh, this bridge thing that we're looking at? It's, there's a supreme logic to me. The harbour was with me for so long because I lived on it. That was what I saw. This is my new backyard and I'm finding as I get to know that particular part of the Hunter Valley, the, the dominant structures there, of course, are the bridges. And what I love about it most, especially coming from my old museum background, is that there, there's this group of heritage bridges. They've got real historic importance. They're structurally fascinating. They're all similar, but they're all quite different. They're governed by the landscape, in this case, Morpeth, where there's a very high side and a low side and they vary in size and scale. But to me, it was the, the repetitive nature of the structure, this interesting timber truss structure, and playing off, of course, the brilliant white, dark sky, a landscape. It's a traditional landscape painting, but with my idea of the strong graphic tape that I always like to, to bring to my paintings. Mm. And I also like, uh, in this particular work, you see a, a freer use of the paint, particularly in the landscape areas uh, and the, the bush sort of setting. Is this going to form part of your style in the future? Um, it's always been there, I suppose, but I've subjugated that to the, the technical nature of the, of the stripes, as people will always call them. Um, yes, it was a much more vigorously painted picture. They did it quite quickly. I mean, this is a, a sort of two-day painting. Um, and I wanted to be loose and free and a bit more expressive and yet at the same time keep that strong graphic grid that I sort of like to hang my pictures on.